Ladies and gentlemen, it is February 24, 2021 and we have another next level lecture for you. We have a very important subject today, a subject that you can and should put to use today. So happy you are here. My name is Hans Nordzik and I'm calling from my home country, the Netherlands in Europe. Some weeks ago, we had the subject of a forgotten ancient language that has the potential to change your life. And today we have a totally different subject that I want to talk to you about. And that is your wings of inspiration. For the next 25 minutes, I want to take you into the world of inspiration. What it is, literally how you can connect with it, what it can do for you, and then your takeaway. It will be about 25 minutes, the red pill. I hope you will take the red pill. That means that if you have any question coming up, it should be about better understanding what is going on. This is not a competition. This is not about who knows better. This is not about arguing about things. This is see what can we do in this world because we need some change in the world. It is for everybody that's interested in a change in the world. If you are thinking everything is fine, perfect, then this is not the lecture for you. What you learn is that there is a hidden language. There is a hidden door that we can all open. And in fact, that door is already wide open. We only have to learn how to say yes to that wide open door. I hope I tickle your curiosity. This will, uh, why I do this? Because I think it's needed. I think we need uh, to, given the, given the situation in the world, we need something different. We need to, and I revert back many times to ancient, knowledge and ancient cultures and to mythology so let us start the title of today is your wings of inspiration we all find ourselves in this bizarre status in the world you may do very good you may do not so very good at least there is a crisis that has an impact on all of us wings of inspiration what does the word inspiration mean you have two words you have inspiration and you have aspiration aspire and inspire the word inspire means it has the word in and it has the word spire which is connected with uh, spirit with life inspire if i inspire something i inhale something i get excited by something that lets me connect with who I am, lets me do what I love to do, lets me feel alive, lets me give fun, that's inspire. And when I inspire something, I get excited. The next movement of what we do is aspire. It could be with your breath and it could be with something else and that something else is whatever you do in the world. This is a very old, ancient, timeless paradigm. Inspire and aspire. This is life is all about that. You get, you take and you give away. You get inspiration and you give aspiration away. So if people say, oh, well, I will inspire you. That is by definition nonsense. I can only inspire myself and only you can inspire my, yourself and I can, the same as you, I can aspire, this is my potential, my potential, my gift to the world, whatever I do in my private life, in my business life, when I have fun, when I do it with friends and that is the aspiration, it's the action. Other um, traditions say that if you prison the human spirit in a body. Now, bear with me. Presenting the, the spirit, that what wants to make action inside the body, 
that's the physical constraint, then the result is life, is action. Because the spirit, you want to manifest yourself through your body. And that's how we create life in this universe. So inspire is taking and aspire is giving. I can aspire you and you can inspire yourself. There is today a huge crisis in the world and it affects all of us. And a crisis that we know from history, a crisis and a, is connected with the chaos and is connected with order. If you have a crisis, chaos, then the next thing will be there will be order in your private life, in the life of your dog, in the life of your community, your family, and in our global life. There will come order again. This is a constant sign is going up and down, up and down, crisis, chaos, and towards the order. Who is making the order? Who is making the chaos? Half of it is out of our hands and half of it is in our hands. And this is exactly the subject I want to talk about today with you. Because we are able to manifest things that we were not able to believe by ourselves. It's in our hand. The solution to the crisis and the chaos, it's in your hands, in your heart and in your stomach. And in your brains, we come to bed in 10 minutes. We will talk about the trias humana. The trias humana. So, it is in our hands. Wings of inspiration. Now, I come from the world of flying. And we have a saying in, in the world of flying. If you learn how to fly with wings you will be able to fly without wings. And there's cert certainly truth in it. If you watch the scenery of the earth from a few hundred meters or more than that up toward look, watch, looking downward on the earth, uh, it inspires you, it in inspires me. I've, I told last week the story that some years ago we flew over the beautiful landscape in a beautiful summer afternoon over Holland. And we were flying such an old biplane with the goggles and a leather cap on. And we were in our t-shirts. It was summertime, summer temperature, flying from one part to another part in the country. And we overflew uh, a farmer. There were was, there was some cows in a pasture. Cows, animals were standing there. And there was a farmer on his tractor, driving his tractor. And we were flying at a few hundred meters, a few, uh, 1,000 feet altitude we're crisscrossing in this biplane watching outside it's an open copy thing watching outside waving to the farmer and he was waving back and he i was almost literally shouting to you what are you doing and he was yeah well i'm working and what your guys are doing up there in that beautiful old vintage biplane is that very useful? And that's, I said to myself and the other passenger, well, I'm not sure if it's useful, it's sure a lot of fun. And then 15 minutes, 15 minutes later, we overflew the rivers and there was somebody on his sailboat controlling the boat. And again, we were waving at each other back and forth. What are you doing? Well, I'm making fun. I'm having fun here. By the way, can you make fun? Can you make fun? Can we, is there, you know, you go to your workshop and can you make fun there? It's a, it's a, it's a question. Can we make fun or is fun the result of something else that is given to you like inspiration? Anyway, the sailor watched us and we watched from our biplane and are you, what guys are you doing there up there? Is it very useful? While well, we were flying here, I'm not sure if it's useful. It's sure a lot of fun. We were inspired by life. I remember flying at 35,000 feet over Mongolia. And it was such a beautiful, amazing, crystal clear day at 35,000 feet. And blue skies. And underneath the whitest cold landscape in the winter, the white landscape 
with uh, snow and mountains and we couldn't believe it was so beautiful. We got inspired. Wow, 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 how beautiful is that? This is all about wings flying that inspires you. Excite, excite. You know, if you have like a, a big rocket go, going into space, the rocket has to be excited. There's a potential of energy in the rocket. And it's a potential, it's not yet there. And what needs to be done, it needs to be ignited, like the fire here, you need to ignite the rocket. Or in human terms, you need to excite yourself. If you have potentially inside you enthusiasm, or you have inspiration, we still need a spark to ignite us as well. And in times of chaos, that is sometimes hard to find, that's sometimes hard to give to each other. And we still can do, and we should do that. And if you look very good, you will get it from your environment. The spark that ignites our enthusiasm and the spark that ignites our inspiration. The fuel is inspiration. The fuel is loading our rocket. And then still we need to have the potential to get alive and to get excited, to get ignited. You know, the how, how does that work with inspiration? Inspiration you can get from many, many sources. And there is one big source. You can get inspiration for doing your sporting or walking in the forest. And also the old traditions in the old cultures say, well, there's essentially only one source of the inspiration. And it's the unknown source. They call it with capitals, the source. The source is far away from us and the source is in every molecule of your body. It's on another type of dimension. It's not in our physical realm the source that ignites or ex ignites the and uh, inspires everything that's happening in the universe including including you and me so and then the old tradition says well you know the doors of perception of the doors of inspiration are always open the source is always giving you inspiration that door is always open, especially in times of crisis and chaos, which we are now. So how come that many of us, many of us, we are not getting that inspiration? We are not getting the source inspiration. Well, I'll give you the key to that. And there is a key to do that because the doors are always wide and wide open. And the key is inside you, inside me, in all our people. If I would tell you a story that you will find hard to believe, what would we do with our body? We would lock us up. Well, I'm not going to believe that. I lock my door. I don't want to know this. The intention, that's the magic word, the intention that is here is blocked. And when I tell something to you or you to me and then you feel connected with it, then internally within a millisecond you say, hey, I want to, I like to hear this. I have an intention to open up. And it is as simple as that. The intention is the key to open the doors. And next time we talk about other things after the intention, what, what you need more is discipline and integrity. And the fourth thing is to choose. So given the fact what all the ancient traditions tell us that the doors of perception, the doors of inspiration are always open, the only thing we have to do is believe, understand that it is there and telling our system Self, I am going to open my door. I'm 
putting into the world the intention of opening the door and then it comes in. No, you, you don't have to stand on your head in a meditation atmosphere for the rest of your life to understand it. It is as simple as I tell you that. It's the intentions, yeah? it's the question that drives us, it's the in intention that will open the doors and you will get inspiration. Trias Humana, the Trias Humana. You have the Trias Politica and we also have a Trias Humana. What's that, Hans? Trias Humana is your brain, your head, is your stomach and is your heart. Three Trias Humana. Three Trias Humana is human. Head, brain, stomach, and your heart. Why do I say that? Because your heart is the door opener. What we talked about, the intention or the, the inspiration that's being sent out by the source is entering our system through our heart. Supporting the heart to be able to do his or her work, we need two things. We need a stomach that is filled with good food and drinks, and we need a head as a healthy thinking organism. So the head and the stomach should be filled with good thoughts, good food, and then the heart will open, and you are in control of all these three Trias Humanas, you are in control of that. If you give yourself bad food, if you give yourself bad intention, if you give yourself bad thoughts, then the heart will have a problem. You know, also inside the heart is the, the doors of perception, the doors of inspiration, and also inside the heart is the inner compass. And your inner compass is never shouting at you. It's a long story from the worlds of fairy tale. Our inner compass, it's a treasure that was given to us by nature, call it nature. And our inner compass needs, like every tool, you need to develop it, you need to polish it, and you need to learn how to use it. And that's all about life, it's all about adjusting and and adjusting and polishing and using and knowing how to use your inner compass that's the exciting part of it that gives fun that gives joy if you learn how to do, to do that it's part of life is learning that so and the inner compass is never shouting at you i am right like uh, like uh, like a politician on tv yeah it's like this or that the inner compass is always quiet. And the inner compass, we talked about it some weeks ago, is always using that sacred, secret language of the heart and telling to you. And if our stomach is full of bad food and our mind, our brains are full of, of distractions, full of bad thoughts, then the heart cannot work then we, we, we cannot get inspiration and we cannot, we cannot connect with our inner compass. You know, in my view, if there is one thing that is needed and if there, is, if there is a solution to the present global crisis, it's never outside us. It's never the politicians. It's never the, never the industrial people. It's never your neighbor. It's never, it's always inside us. The key of life and, and the, the solution to the problems are inside us. Now, I'm, I'm a firm total believer that if we learn to listen to our heart and if we learn to polish our, our inner compass, that will be the beginning of finding the solution from the chaos crisis situation towards the solution situation, towards the world of order, which we all long for. So that's inside our hearts. We can start, you can start now. We can start now. It's as simple as that. You know, in the universe, the source is just sending, sending inspiration and things to us. And it's our job to reconnect with that 
by giving good food, giving beautiful thoughts and opening our heart and start to polish our internal compass. So inspiration is what you get or take, what you inhale, inspiration, what you get. And aspiration, if you totally inspire, get inspired, I want to make a new musical instrument, then your aspiration is go to action and start doing it. If you inhale inspiration and you're ignited, it gets to burn inside you and your internal compass starts to work and telling you, mm, go to this way, you may be able to make, to design a new house or build an eco-friendly car or be the best father or the best mother in your life. That is the aspiration that you give back. As old as mankind, as old as the universe. My giveaway and your takeaway, you know, and dear viewers, um, I don't know everything and I, I know enough to tell this story and in order to make this a better place we all need each other. I, I need you as much as I need food. I need people around me and we all need each other because that's also the final, final, um, final rule that uh, you know we cannot leave if we want to go to the, to the next phase of happiness of order we cannot leave any human behind we all have to go towards that level my giveaway your takeaway for now is given these words let it sink in i told you before fairy tales mythology is not an activity it is something you consume and then the magic will happen so let my story open up your attention i hope you like it let it sink in, maybe listen again to it, and then see what it will do with your life. Thank you. We talk to each other next time. Keep up the good spirit.